Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Flixbox mobile application. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch the Flixbox application, which of course I have done right here. Okay, so I'm just going to take you right into the home page, and then from there, I'm going to show you how you can use Flixbox. So we're here in this home page, and this is pretty much what it looks like. So here you have the from tab, you have the tow tab, the parting return, passengers and bikes, and um, then you have the search bar, which is here as well. And if you check the bottom of your screen, you can find booking, ticket stops, and more. So for you to book a bus, here's what you do. Go ahead in this from tab and locate your destination. Go ahead and select your destination and the to tab. Go ahead and select your destination. The pattern date, go ahead and choose that. Return date, go ahead and choose that. And passengers, how many people will you be going with? Will you be going, how many adults will you be going with? It's just you, just add one. Use the plus button to increase the number of people and use the minus button to decrease the number of people. If you're going with bikes, e-bikes are not allowed on coaches. Traveling a wheelchair, we salute. You can choose any of those options. And once you're done, go ahead and click on the search bar. So get inspired for your next trip. You can click on this Explore Flix Bus Connections and Prices for you to explore different options. So let's head over to the bottom corner of my screen. Now remember, once you click on search, let's say I, I have entered all of these details and I clicked on search, you're going to find a wide array of buses that you can choose from. So just select the one that you can use. You can even use this filter option at the top right corner of your screen for you to filter by earliest, cheapest, shortest, and all of this just go ahead and use the filter for you to make your search pretty much easier then select any of the stations go ahead and click on select this strip at the bottom corner of your screen and it's going to take you to the um cart window so click on next for you to add to cart and once you get in here this is the checkout page go ahead and complete your order you can reserve a seat here you can add extras all right and this is the payments you can use cards or paypal you can add billing address if you want to use if you want to add a billing address to your invoice if you have a voucher click on i have voucher and add your voucher code and once you're done go ahead and click on this check box and proceed to payment so that's how to book all right so here's where you have the tickets and head over to the ticket button this way you can now manage your bookings manage all your trips here you have stops you can find stops or cities they say there are no nearby stations so use the search to find stations you're looking for if you want that then click on this more option and it takes you here if you want help and you need to contact the support go ahead and click on need help you have the terms and conditions you can view the privacy policy the legal notice station locations if you want to read the app you can use that if you want to know more about the app you can click that and once you click on the settings you can now change the currency a distance unit privacy settings and in-app messages so this is pretty much how you can use the flixbox mobile app now you can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and of course once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you search